20 years ago today, Hong Kong was handed over to China after more than 150 years of British rule. The territory was supposed to retain much of its independence from Beijing, but as Ben Tracy reports, promises of freedom have not been fulfilled. Chinese President Xi Jinping reviewed the troops in Hong Kong Friday. Before his arrival, police cracked down on pro-democracy protesters. 26 people were arrested, including 20-year-old Joshua Wong, one of the leaders of the so-called umbrella movement that shut down parts of the city in 2014. Wong was released from jail today. It's not the time for celebration. It's time for demonstration. Everything in Hong Kong should not be only under the control of Chinese president. Britain returned Hong Kong to China in 1997 with an arrangement known as One Country, Two Systems, where Hong Kong became part of China, but enjoyed many civil liberties unheard of on the mainland. We feel that our freedoms are being taken away little by little. Jason Ng is a lawyer and author. He says China is tightening its grip on Hong Kong. Five booksellers who were critical of the Chinese government were recently kidnapped and pro-independence lawmakers were blocked from taking office. I've heard some people say that one country, two systems has become one country, one and a half systems. Two systems is slowly counting down to sort of one system when we sort of merge fully into China and become just another Chinese city. China's president claims that he plans to uphold the one country, two systems model, but people here are increasingly pessimistic. Anthony Hong Kong's new chief executive takes office on Saturday, and she is considered by many here to be a puppet of the Chinese government. Ben Tracy in Hong Kong, thanks.